Hey guys, Dane here with Backcountry Access. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps in order to set up accessories through the shoulder sleeve of your float airbag pack. Seems kind of like a daunting task at first, but in five minutes you can make it happen. So whether it's your BC Link radio, you're reinstalling a trigger or you're just swapping the trigger from one side to the other, or you're installing a hydration hose, um, it's basically all done the same way. So all these steps are applicable to any of these things and you just want to make sure that uh, mainly you're routing things correctly so that you're not getting the airbag involved at all with these items. So if you do need to deploy it, uh, nothing's in the way and you're not going to break or lose anything upon that deployment. Alright, so your first step is to disconnect, uh, in this case, the base unit from the radio or in the case of using a hydration bladder, remove the bladder so that we have two th you know, a thin piece that we can thread through. It's gonna make things much easier. Open up the shoulder sleeve. So in this case, since our trigger here is located in this shoulder sleeve, we're gonna be routing the link through this sleeve. Loosen up your load lifter so that this shoulder strap can bend freely. Part of your mic, the end part, is going to be routing up into the shoulder strap. So we'll leave it right there for now. Next, you're going to need to get the airbag compartment open. Do this by taking the airbag breakaway zipper here and pulling it apart. You do not want to use the zipper. It's much easier to use the breakaway zipper. Fold this part, the flap that goes over the zipper back. It's going to make it much easier for you to grab the end of the mic. You should be able to see the mic start to poke through. Guide that part of the mic through, or if you're using a hydration, the hose. At this point, it's through. But we're gonna wanna pull the excess all the way through. And leave our mic dangling. At this point, we wanna decide whether we're gonna route it down through this side or the opposite side. The main thing that we wanna do is Make sure not to route anything over our airbag. Obviously, if it were to deploy, this would be in the way. So we want to make sure everything is routed around. Now, if we look at the trigger, how it's already set up, it's a good guide as to how this area should look. Um, anything that's routed through this area needs to be behind the actual airbag itself so that when you pack it back in, the airbag can open up and nothing else is gonna get in the way. So in this case, we're going to route our BC Link mic down through the corner, the corner that's just above our cylinder. And you can utilize the webbing loops along the side here to help keep this um, secure and not loose inside the airbag compartment so make sure to do that at least through one of these webbing loops is a good idea continue to pull a little excess through so that you have some stretch to work with guide the mic through we'll see it pop through this other side here once that has made it through and pull a little bit more slack through and then we will take our base unit connect it to the radio lock it in there and now I can attach this piece to the webbing loop I think it's a good idea to leave a little bit of slack so that you're not going to be putting excess stress on this part of your link. But you don't want it to have too much slack to the point where when you start putting things inside the main compartment, 
uh, things are going to get caught on this slack. So generally I will just leave a little bit here as you can see. Leave this part that's routed through the airbag compartment uh, a little loose as well so that when I go to measure how I want this attached to my shoulder sleeve I can grab a little bit extra slack if I need to. Like that I'll attach my mic and I feel confident now that I have enough slack and everything is routed properly. Um, you can double check by pulling the airbag compartment back open. You can't even really see that it's routed through there but you just want to note that nothing is wrapped over the airbag. So like that, I'm going to repack the airbag. Utilizing these webbing loops, you can move these two items up and down as you see fit. And with any further questions or concerns regarding this installation process, please reference our website, give us a call, or shoot us an email. Smooth turns and safe travels. Thanks for tuning in.